Alright, what's up? Showtime X here again. Um, NBA talk, NBA playoffs, Chicago Bulls, Milwaukee Bucks, Chicago, in my opinion, sort of barely got out of this because Milwaukee came to play in some way. Like It was physical, technical fouls, like it was straight physical, which is great because... That's kind of funny thing is like Chicago Bulls is always known for physicalness, physical defense. But you'll never see a team, what you have never heard of a team being just as physical as them. This is like some team actually applying physical defense on them that much tonight. It's just like it would pest pestering them okay so let me just get into it um Chicago beats um Milwaukee 91 to 82 um it, it started off very slow in the first quarter the Milwaukee Bucks came to play they held the Chicago Bulls to 11 points 11 points people that is crazy talk um of course, you can't really say that much about Milwaukee. Milwaukee ended up with 16 points in the first quarter. But of course, Chicago Bulls turned it up a notch and it came right back. Uh, by posting up 28 points in the second quarter. So, it was, it was, like, it was very close all the way until Chicago Bulls started to stretch out. In like in the last few minutes of the fourth quarter, they started to come in and take over. So you have Derrick Rose. He didn't have a good scoring night, but he did a lot of things in other places. He had 15 points off of 4 out of 14 shooting, was which is terrible. But he had 9 assists and 7 rebounds. Then we have Jimmy Butler, the player of the game tonight. Jimmy Butler having 31 points and 9 rebounds and a block as well. So, big ups to uh, Jimmy Butler. He came to play. Junkie Noah, yeah, he was there. And he came to play. He got 6 points and 5 assists and 19 rebounds. With four offensive rebounds. Very good. Like I say he pretty much had a good defensive presence in this game. Paul Gasol with another bad shooting round. Uh, using Having four out of 12 shooting from the field. 11 points and 16 rebounds. And four blocks. I'm going to say this. Something that I didn't say for the first game. I might have to take that back on what Paul Gasol really did. Like I keep thinking with him with stats. I don't want to confuse that with um, his stats. Like He did come to play tonight defensively greatly. Uh, it was good. Good match. And you had Milwaukee. You had... Um, Milton with 22 points, 6 rebounds. You had Mark, Michael Carter-Williams with 12 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 assists. Uh, uh, and the Green Freak. The Greek Freak. I, I don't want to pronounce his name because it's just too damn hard. Ante... Uh, I don't know how to spell his name, but God... He ended with 6 points, 11 rebounds with 4 assists. So that's pretty much the Chicago Bulls versus Milwaukee. Basically, is very defensively. And, oh, just to point out, um, for the next game, Chicago Bulls need to stop doing these, um, uh, turning over the ball because they turn over 10, to, um, 10 turnovers in the first half and ended up with 13 turnovers by the end of this game while Milwaukee only had four. That's crazy. 
13 turnovers for the Chicago Bulls, 10 in the first half. Milwaukee only had four throughout the entire game. They had the ball greatly. So, point of emphasis today is like Milwaukee exploited their um uh, the lack of um ball handling of Chicago Bulls or um ball awareness. <sighs> Milwaukee just can't do it. I I don't. Milwaukee probably might might win next game. I see them winning next game at home. However, they're not winning the series because I just don't think they have the talent, the right talent to do so. I still say they still need a few pieces and they need Jamari Parker back because this is not going to work. So, that's it for you. Um, Chicago Bulls, 91-82. Peace.